What's up guys, in this video I just quickly want to show you how to easily create the handwritten text effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Similar to what you saw at the beginning of the video and also similar to what you can see right now across the screen. Awesome, let's get into DaVinci Resolve and get started right away. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Let's reset the UI layout so we're all looking at the same thing to start with. So I'm going to go to Workspaces. I'm going to come down and select Reset UI Layout. That will reset our UI layout to the default. I'm going to turn off one of the monitors because I only want to work with one monitor. Give us enough room for so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn off one monitor. And right here in my timeline, you can see I have one clip here. This is not a video. This is just an image. But I like the frame here, this blank canvas hanging on the wall. And I want to write something on it. You know but i want to make it look like i'm handwriting it on it so let's go into our media tab and create a new fusion composition right click in the media tab select new fusion composition let's just name this text for now so i'm going to drag this fusion comp we just created and place it right here move my playhead over to it select it and go into fusion so here we are and you can see we only have the media out node. I'm going to add in a background node and I'm going to connect the background node to the media out and that gives us the black background. I'm going to go over to the inspector section here and I'm going to bring the alpha all the way down so we have a transparent background. The next thing is to add the text to the background. So if you want, you can just click on text right here and bring in a text node right click that text node put it over the background node it will automatically create a merge just like this for you select the text node go into the inspector and in the text properties let's just type something simple something basic i'm just going to type in let's say love die neighbor Right, so that's it, love thy neighbor. Very simple that we can work with. Now for the text properties, the fonts, I want to select something that is more of a handwritten style. So I'm gonna go in here and I think I have a font ready. I'm gonna select Rampage Brush. And you can download this font for free, just Google it. It's available online for free that you can also use if you want to. And with this text in here, I'm just gonna resize it a little bit. I'm gonna bring the size up a little bit for now. I'm going to bring the line spacing down a little bit so they're a lot more closer. Let's see if we can play around with the tracking a little bit. Maybe somewhere like that. I think it's okay, right? All right, so now that we have our text, let's begin to create the effect. To create that effect, we're going to add in a mask effect onto this. The mask effect that we're going to use will be the max paint. So hold down shift, click on spacebar, this keyboard is going to come and search for mask paint or the paint mask, right? Select it and then add. And that's going to be added on top of the text node right here. So bring it to the side so we can see. Let's do some little bit of arrangements here. Give us a solve a little bit of space to work with. There we go. All right. So now that we have this, select the mask paint. Head over to the inspector section, go under mask and do invert. Now we can see our text once more, right? So when we had the mask added, we couldn't see anything because we hadn't drawn any marks yet. So invert it so we can see our text. Head back to the controls. And this key here is very important, the stroke duration. So the stroke duration, you always want to set it a little bit higher than what you have for your clip length, because if you don't, What's going to happen is it's going to write on the text and it's going to wipe it out right away. So I usually like to set this to a very high number. So I'm going to start off by maybe setting this to about maybe 2000. Right. And at 2000, I know I will never have that issue, which is good. Now we can start creating our mask. Bring your playhead all the way over to frame one 
and you're going to go frame by frame and as we go we're going to mask out certain aspects of the text so i'm going to move forward one frame and i will start wiping out the text move forward another frame continue wiping move forward one frame i get there is a little bit of manual work involved but i find that when you do this manual work it actually makes the effect looks a lot more smoother and better and so i prefer to do it this way so we're going to go through frame by frame and with each frame we are wiping out a little bit of that text and i'm trying to follow the same format in which i'll write right so if you're writing a t you're probably going to write this first right and then write that so i'm just following that same format as i go i'm not being very accurate here because i'm trying to do this as quickly as i can but you can take your time and be as accurate as you want all right so there we go all done you know there we go so now if you go to the beginning and you start playing you can see it's wiping off the text right but that's not the effect we want we actually want it to write on so now that we have the mask painted head over back into the inspector go to the mask and turn off the invert and now if you play back it's now going to write on the text just like we want it right looks more like handwritten it looks very nice let's head over to the edit tab and I'm going to move this clip now over to the top of the image. And as you can see, there we are. I'm going to come all the way to the end here. Select this, go into the inspector. And now I can use my transform controls to resize and position this in the right place. So somewhere right about here, maybe I'll bring it up a little bit. Somewhere right about here. And now let's play back and see what we have done. Awesome. So if you want, you can take this to the next level by just adding in some sound effects as the writing is happening. So let's see what we can add for sound effects quickly. I'm not going to be too particular, but I can drag in this kind of chalk handwritten, chalkboard writing sound and um, maybe bring the volume down a little bit right and let's see what it does yep there we go and i think this adds on to the effect really well there you go that's how you can create this handwritten text effect inside of resolve um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it leave me a comment let me know what you think about it um, and also i'm always open to new ideas from the community if you have any ideas for a video that you would like to see on this channel, please leave me a comment, leave me a note, and I'll try to see if I can uh, get to it as soon as I can. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed, keep creating, and I will see you in the next video.